thing I am now on all five. Don't, don't say that, please. Don't, don't call yourself an orphan. Eh? Hi! I'm here. I, and I'll be there oh to help you God. all the time. Please. I'm sorry. Tokwa is okay. No one listens to me. Nobody hates my voice. I warned him, but he wouldn't listen. This morning, I had a father. And now I'm an orphan. And it's all your fault, Papa. It's all your fault. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Willie. But the mere fact that he said he saw a mother in his dreams should have made you know that this issue is indeed a serious one. I don't know how my personal life has become a topic for public discussion. There's nothing public here, my brother. We're talking of a process that our mother already started in her wisdom, as is the one of Obodeti. Spare me all these explanations. I am not interested in any process that has not made certain things clear to me. I don't get this. I don't get you, my brother. Are you saying you will not pick a wife because... Because, my princess, I have not said that. I didn't say that. I shall be married to a maiden from this land. Some day away. And that brings us back to the same topic. Who is that maiden that you hope to find? That will be better than the one that our mother already named for you. I don't know her. But I know she's waiting for me somewhere. And when I see her, I will marry her. Can we change this topic? Because I hate it when my personal life is being discussed. As if I am surrounded by people who have no emotions. All this damaging gossip spreading around her that she's evil and she's a witch. It's not right. And who are you to dismiss the thoughts of men? Who are you, Asa? And who are the men? Yes, who are the men? You talk as if you don't know the position my father occupies in this Of course I do know the position your father occupies in this land. I really do know it. But what has your father's position got to do with this? Everything. If someone in my father's position dismisses the allegation leveled against her as business, why would anyone see it as panic? Asa, I really don't want to get angry right now. So I will assume we never had this discussion. If you so believe she's not evil, go on and keep her as your friend. But don't say I didn't want her. Next thing they will start complaining that the ancestors are wicked to them. But they don't know they cost it themselves. Bawani. Bawani, if you would listen to me, I will tell you to leave that lady. Leave her and go for another. Our land is a land of maidens. Bawanye, I, Onyeka, will never mourn with an evil maiden. I won't do that. I can't believe you. I can't believe you call one Hegu an evil maiden. Why are you looking at me as if I've spoken the abominable? We all heard the uncle while he spoke. The uncle is a man that is so much respected in this land and you know it. Mwakego is evil. She's evil. And I would want my friend, that's you, to leave her. Leave her! Mr. Oyeka, give me one good reason why I should leave Mwakego. You asked for one, but I will give you two. One, she's connected with witchcraft. And witchcraft is the devil of evil that would face any man. Two, 
work against it and wishes people evil and whenever she does she does that it happens in the life of such people to cap it up Mwake go masterminded the untimely death of her own father my good friend what do you think that your life as a suitor or a husband would be in the hands of a girl who masterminded the death of her father Yeka, you know that's not true that's the wickedness of her uncle who hates her with a passion he made up that story to discredit the poor girl <laughs> Well, I'm just concerned with the life of my friend. But Bawani, you have just thrown caution to the wind, but you never kept the danger ahead. There's no danger ahead, my friend. You're the one making that up. It's really very unfortunate that I regard you as my friend. Yet you can't judge anything right. Nothing. Bawani, that's an insult. It's an insult and I won't take it. Call it whatever you like, Onyeka. I don't care. And for you, and for the records, whether you like it or not, I will keep going for that girl, Makego, until she agrees to marry me, and there is nothing anybody can do about it. One thing I want you to know is that you have a very good friend in me. Anytime, any day. And um, you know, the rumors making round. To me, it's like tales. I don't, I don't hold it because I know where they are coming from, and I don't believe you in any way manipulated your father's death. All I've been shocked. If you had said you believed any of those things they say. But I'm you, glad you don't. But you can trust I will never believe it in like that. E even though you turned down my request, my love request to you. That doesn't mean that I still don't know you. I know you very well. I know you like the back of my hand. Oh yeah, please. I beg to change the subject. But not without saying thank you for everything you did for me during the morning period. I do appreciate it. You're welcome. But you know, I can always do anything for you. Just say yes. Mm. Not now. Please. Um, my love. You know. Now that the whole one period is over, it's time for you to let go and drop some of the stints and rejuvenate yourself. I mean, you could take a walk around the community in the evening sometime. I can even come and take you on, uh, join you on, in the walk. Silence is golden, Bawanya. I wish you could understand the voice of silence. Silence? Does silence have a voice? I feel frustrated. I feel devastated. Why are they not listening to me? He's a gift from the gods. I waited for the funeral before you know, presenting this issue to the king. The maiden in question is an evil child born into my family. From what happened, I can comfortably say that she was the one who manipulated the death of her father. Please, could you confirm to me, in your honor, that the said maiden is the daughter of your late brother? Yes, I do. My late brother heard her, nurtured her, and even defended her until his death. I cannot therefore say that she is not his child. Well, in the well-documented history of Obodet, it, it is never on record that a girl, a maiden, manipulated the father unto death. How could it be happening now? Your Majesty. Your Majesty, as a man that sits in a place of authority, 
I stand the position to advise the king. Yes, yes. Good. There is something sinister all about that lady. And the best thing is to banish her from this land. Well, I'm trying to understand how an innocent administration of a maiden, possibly a seer in the making, would be translated as evil. How? How? Akrika, can you see why I insisted that you have to be with me here? The king does not understand the kind of death that that maiden unleashed on my brother. Africa, please. Tell him. Onyezi. In my whole life, as a mercy man, your majesty, I have never seen such a venom that could spread into the heart within a few minutes. Hmm. Your majesty, that snake is the creation of evil people. And I am tempted to accept the Congo's position. Onyeze, for her to have seen it means she knows about it. Argument that the snake is the creation of the evil people. Apart from the one that beat Onye Melunando, there is no person who has ever seen or been beaten by the supposed deadly snake. Yes. I am a very straightforward man and I appreciate people with that quality. Onyezi, everything points to the fact that the maiden is evil. And having her around me is dangerous. It's uncomfortable for me. So, your highness, make your pronouncement. Please. It sure can we know that royal pronouncement in the bodetity full of the process. Nevertheless, I will make a wide consultation. Then I will be able to know what to say. Your silence is driving me crazy. I came on the invitation of the princess. I was expecting my charming prince to offer me seat. Where you can sit is already said. But you elected to stand. I concluded that you wanted to show me how beautiful you are. But I can't take that away from you. You're a maiden of intimidating beauty. This is the first time you have ever said something nice to me. Say it. <laughs> I believe my patience is finally paying off. Thank you, my friend. My sister must have a reason for inviting you. I wish she's here to say it. She invited me over so that we can talk. You and I. What am I not doing right? Hmm? Let's spend some time today to talk about us. The way forward. Ever since the queen passed on, you have been totally cold towards me. The truth is that I'm dying to know something very important. To know what, my friends? Is it the training you got or something you like doing on your own? Why do you like whining and seeking for necessary attention? I know you don't have any answer to that. But can't you see? Ma. Can't you see? Even a blind man can see that this is not working. You're a good woman. But this, we, both of us can't work. 
Is it not better we set ourselves free? It would be good for you and for me. Thank you, my friends. Why can't they understand you and leave me alone? You practically ran out of the palace and you're not saying anything. What happened? What did he say to you? I regret coming here. I regret coming here. <laughs> He wants me to make a pronouncement that will get that poor lady banished from the land. But I'm not in a hurry to do that. Um, Igwe, I don't know why Ichioko hates that media. You want her dead? You see, that lady is an Ada. The deity that oversees the affairs of Ndiada in Igbo land is a very strong one. If we must banish the lady, we must first be sure of the offense she committed. It would be suicidal to banish an Ada because Cho Kong made a suggestion to the throne. The whole of her body will go up in flame. And we can avoid it. So I I think I know I know what to do. Igwe? Yes. Try to do something. I know what to do. Do something, Igwe. Yes. What are you now about that? I can also be that with this call for. But for now, I'm just a concerned sister. Try to speak some sense into our only God. Otuko, don't be ridiculous. How could you say a thing like that to me? Talk sense into me as if I'm mad or what? I'm sorry. That's not exactly what I meant. But treating them mad the way you did, don't you think that was a bit too harsh? Mother surely didn't teach you that way. To judge a scenario you never witnessed firsthand. Look, oh, Alicia, you should have seen how broken she was. That maiden is a supposed betrayer to the prince. She deserves some respect, if not from all the people, but from you, her husband. Oh, you go, she's not betrayed to me. That was mother's choice, and mother is no more. And now that she's no more, she should be thrown out of palace. And now that she's no more, what should happen? Okay, listen, answer me. Don't keep quiet. What should happen? That maiden was chosen by our mother. For who? For you, her son. And now that mother died before the both of you could be joined together. You want us to be thrown out or possibly banned from entering the palace. That's not what I'm saying. But it's high time we understood something. Oh, please tell me. My prince and my only brother. What do you want me to understand? She's not my type of woman. Yes, fine, she's loving, humble, caring. I am not blind to see those wonderful qualities. But my dear, I can't find her in my life. I can't find her in my future. She's not the type of woman I want. <laughs> so a woman with all these noble qualities you just listed is not good for you. What do you want? I guess that means you're fine. Can I sit? Oh, come on, Bawanye. Don't ask me that. Let me sit. Thank you. You honestly shouldn't give me gifts. My heart cannot be bought with your gifts. You said that before when I used to buy you gifts. But this is a walk of my hand. A man who lives in pretense wants Wakego as wife. Is that ever possible? I don't understand. Because I don't live in pretense. Your heart is filled with love. It's so sad that the person you want to be with doesn't want to be with you. 
wait for as long as it takes her to make up her mind. Bawanye, why waste your money and time on people when the talent of yours that will bring forth joy is wasting away? I don't understand. You're getting me confused. Everyone must not be a hunter. You are building a house of shame for yourself. For in your hands lie your talent, not in the blood of animals. You make me speechless. I'm confused. Quit the pretense and keep it real. Men of our land are not known to pretend. Pretense is a sin against that journey, Mother Air. So I say to you again, Bangwanye, quit the pretense and keep it real. Silence has a voice. What do you mean you remember this? You couldn't even shout at least to attract the people that would save me. Maiden whom the gods have sent a priestess to save does not need the help of a common maiden like myself. Why should I shout? Have you ever seen me shouting? Where then is the voice of silence? Voice of silence. Well, you alone know what that means. But seriously, this is not funny. So had it been I didn't run, he would have actually flogged me with that cane. It is good that you ran. Now you have drawn the attention of the priestess to what's actually happening here. It's a plus, not a minus. Your Highness, it is only a tree that hears of his death at this time. I would like to ask for clarification. Who is the tree and who is the clear? I am surprised at this question, Emilia. This is not how this meeting is supposed to be. I'm only asking for clarification. Don't ask for any clarification. You already know what I am talking about. Ah! Onyezi. I heard an elaborate meeting with that girl, that maiden that was reported evil. Yes, I did. You did? When? And why didn't you tell me this? Onyezi, that maiden is not evil. She is just one unique daughter of this land. Unique? Yes. Oh. Proclaiming death on people is now unique? Eh? Akrika is making sense. Akrika is making sense. Uche, you better stop talking. What sense is he making? Onyezi, I hope you are not going to listen to them. Okungwa, I know you lived peacefully with Onyeme Nando. But why would you wish to have his only daughter punished? Onyezi. Wakego is like a daughter to me too. But her, her, her being around me is, is, is unsafe for me. All I ask for is we, we, that we do something very fast to ensure that what happened to my brother will not happen to me. Make this pronouncement your highness. Not just to a man in this world, but to an old friend who has remained loyal to your crown. I have investigated that medium. And I hereby pronounce her innocent. So she must be left alone. But even if she is evil, let the gods do it their own way. I'm glad you came, considering how your last visit ended. 
Your call means everything to me, my prince. Thank you for calling me back. I don't know how to tell you this. We are all humans. So we end. I have already forgiven you. We are meant for each other. You are my destiny. No other woman can give you what you need. I am here all for you. No matter what you do, I will always forgive you. Always. Ma, you're surely running too fast. That is not what I was going to say. Yes, I am sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I, I, I treated you bad in the past. But just because I... You cannot be happy without me, my friend. The same thing applies to me. We need each other. We are each other's destiny. Please, my prince, please, wake up. Don't wake us. I wish I could see things the way you see them. But I don't. I don't. I like you. You're a good woman. But it can't just it can't just work. Come on. Try and understand. Try and understand. You did it again, Okalese. You did it again, Okalese. Very bad. Very bad of you. I tried to make her understand. And I'm sure she did. It's all over. You just turned down the love of a gracious woman. Mother will be turning her grave right now. Do not forget to let me know when you find that woman that you see in your future. I'm wondering what you're doing here. You know that when one's soul is buried at a place, he always finds himself going to the same place all the time. So directly, you are telling me that your soul is buried here? Interesting. So tell me, where is the grave so I may dig it out? Of all the maidens in this our village, Wakego, of all the maidens around here, you are the only one that is dear to me. I love you unconditionally. And I'm ready to do anything, anything to make you mine. A fool's paradise. That is where you live, my dear. For as long as I see you and I sense the pretense, you will never get the best of me. me do you not like what in me puts you off tell me and consider it done i will change please a soul i need to salvage a soul from death that mission is more important to me right now voice of silence Voice. It has a golden voice.
Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. Wake ge kuyoku. Wake ga ba imba. Wake ga ba yaso. She loves me. Yet she doesn't want to open up to me. Pretense. Pretense. The voice of silence. Silence has a voice. The voice of silence. Great man that walks in a hurry. <coughs> you are in a hurry. And that's the more reason you should hurry up to say whatever thing you wish to say. Why hurry to your destruction, my prince? <sighs> are you talking to me? We cannot save all, for many have been destined to meet their end of that way. But you, Prince of Calicia of Ugodetiti, is not one of them. I don't know who you are, or whatever you're driving at. But if you must know, I... My very good friend is... Hosting his friends after his return from Utuacha. You are a special guest. Please, do not go. For a violent death awaits you. Please, who are you? A maiden of this land, great prince. Please, do not go. For Bodeititi still needs your life. Listen to my words and go back to your palace. Voice of silence Voice of silence Silence has a voice It has a golden voice Voice of silence Voice of silence Silence has a voice It has a golden voice you actually follow me? What is it? Oh. Is it the prince? Meaning? I'm wondering why you are avoiding me. You know, sometimes you speak. And it gives me a perception that you do not know me at all. And that, my dear, is not good for you at all. Listen, uh, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I don't know what else to call this. That I was with you in your house and you have abandoned me. Just come and have a quick meeting with a friend. In case you do not, let me inform you. There's already a maiden betrothed to him called Masnach. So you better come out. You know what? Um, what? You have consistently called me your lord. And you do not even know me at all. Stop the lecture. And go and take care of your business. I mean, go about the affairs of your life. And stop monitoring a maiden who needs not be monitored. What else am I supposed to do to, to make her understand me? Yes, my neighbor said you insisted I see you immediately I get back. Yes, it is the reason why I sent for you. You're broken here today, Senor. 
You are a great healer, Mazi. I do not see how or why you will need my help. I know. I have given you all the heads that will take him off. But he's not responding to any of them. So I decided to call you and see if there's any assistance you can offer. A woman of all Roma ethics, married to a great man of Obode ethics. I've lived with him for three years, yet to conceive, even once. I've consulted Isidienu, the great fear of Ifite. He confirmed that I cannot conceive, that my womb has been tied by the strange woman my father married after the death of my mother. And I don't have what it takes to confront a strange woman. I have come for you to help me. Please, help me. I came for deliverance. Please. I brought to you gifts, gifts for great men. Please, have mercy upon me and give me a child. Please, I plead. I know nothing is hidden from your eyes. What will I do to make them rise again? He can be saved, but he has done nothing wrong. She's holding him because she wants him. Who is the she that is holding him? His mother, a beautiful woman, Moro Titi, begged the gods and goddesses at Onunga the river to give her a son. The gods and goddesses removed the curse placed on her by a strange woman. And she conceived and bore this man. He wants to marry, and Obale wants to be with him before he marries. He refused. Obale is holding him. Hmm. Goddesses and mortals don't mingle together. What do we do to get Oba to free him so that he can marry? The priests of Obale will know what to do. Go to him and the young man shall be ready. Makibu, now you know why I sent for you. You have made my, my job much more easier. Thank you. My husband is a great warrior and he being his enemies give it to him that he has fought many wars in Anenugu than any other man that lives. And I wonder why you're telling me that. That great man, that great warrior of Anenugu is lying sick in his compound and you men are sitting in authority have not done anything to bring him back to his feet. It is quite unacceptable and I am here to dispose my displeasure. I'm sorry, woman, but it's very unfair of you to sound this way. We, the men in authority in Anyenugu, have done a lot more for Agoba, the greatest of our land. Even though our messy men have not come out with any solution, but they are making a fire. I expect you to send your energies to other lands to see people who have solution to this illness. Akuba spent his youth and energy fighting for an enemy. If you men abandon Akuba to die, his spirit will torment this land forever. I am not surprised at her boldness. Any woman who has carried the weight of a strong man 
must have a part of him. We must surely do something for Agoba. This whole thing is like in a rush to me. So, by now, he would have been dead with those men. That's all I've been thinking of this while. She came from me and saved my life. And you, who hardly listened to people, finally listened to a stranger. I'm really happy you did. She called herself a maiden from my life. She knows my name. She called me by my name, my prince. I'm confused of a lot of things. A lot of things? Yes. Like what? Wish. What does she want from me? Why would she come to save my life? Why? You already asked me three questions and I have no answer for them. I need to find that maybe. I need to. You mean you really want to go about searching for a maiden you know nothing about? A maiden you know nothing about her background. Listen, you go. You have me on this. You have to. If it was you, I'll do you the same thing for you. Don't deny me this. Please. Things that are real. Tell me, why are you this excited? I knew it. I knew he wanted me, but he wanted to do it his own way. Now he has finally bought my heart with a super surprise. Are you going to tell me or not? No. Give me the answer to this video. When a man comes to see the father with a keg of palm wine, what do you think he wants? Asking for your hand in marriage? Yes! You got it correctly, oh how much I love you. Oneka has come to my father with a keg of palm wine. Oneka has brought wine to my father. Of course I am. This is good news. I need to go now. I need to go so that I will be there to see how he tells my father how much he loves his daughter. You should. I need to go before my father calls me. I will call and tell you everything you need to know. I will come back and tell you everything you need to know. that I am not blind to where is your efforts to win her heart. I know all that. And I know your good intention to marry her. It is unfortunate. It is unfortunate I cannot do anything to It's your good. You are the only father that work in Christ. Yes. My friend and I believe that if you talk to her, she will listen to you. I have no such right over her. In fact, I have washed my hands of anything that concerns her. Uh, uh, how can you say that? Eh? How is that possible? 
you are like a father to her. Yes. Okay, what if you are late, brother Onyemelanam? I am obeying his command. That I should keep off from his daughter. Oh, yeah. You mean he asked you to stay away from the daughter? You had me right, young man. If you want to go on to marry Wakego, then keep on trying. Try your best to win her heart. And if she does give her heart out to you, it is my duty to give her hands out to, to you in marriage, and that is all. Keep on trying, my boy. Keep on trying. Hmm? That is just all I can do. The last time I saw you cry was when Papa died. And even at that, you had to force the tears out, as they don't come easily. Why am I so near, Lord? Why did you I need an answer? She must give me that. You are not ill, Lord, my sister. That is a terrible thing to say about another, let alone oneself. You mean you haven't noticed? You haven't noticed how unlucky I have been. Especially with men. All I see before me is a strong and a happy woman whose future is as bright as the brightest sun. You are the lucky one, Wakego. Yes. They came to my father with a keg of palm wine. You were not there for me. What for you? <laughs> the? You never told me Oyeka came with anyone. What am I even saying? I really must have seen this with your six eyes. Your time will come. I have told you, Iberi. No one wants to marry a maiden who throws herself at him. Go on. Reach on. What is it with you? When would you say yes to Bawani? Until he takes his own life to convince you. Indeed. Those with Botox. Those with Botox do not know how to see. My princess, the truth is that the prince was here. But what I don't understand is why you're looking for him. Does it mean Prince Okalisia of Obudetiti is one man that will not be allowed to do what he likes? I'm sorry, Ichi Akrika, but you sound as if he has already briefed you. Briefed me? On what, my princess? Okalisia has been moving around the kingdom. Searching for a maiden, he called the seer. He said that she is the one who wants to meet his wife. Oh, that was not what he told me. He said her ministration saved his life. And he wants to see her and thank her. Each year he will tell that information from you because he believes you don't need it. I'm telling you now. And I want you to use your good office in the land to stop him. He has a maiden chosen for him already by our mother. Masilachi, Mani Maramba, is my Yes, I know her. I know her very well. Good. Then you must agree with me that Okalisa has no reason to search for another when he has such a maiden waiting for him. I believe you'll do this for me. I believe the gods are planning something. My princess, let's follow the gods. You claim to be close to me, but you do not know me at all. That is because you have not allowed me to know you. I am not the kind of woman that you can have. I am strange and different. 
Haven't you noticed? Haven't you heard what people are saying? Wakeko, this same strange woman that you have grown to be, I watched you grow into it. And I've come to love this woman. Please, who continues turning me down is killing me. How do you think people will regard you when they find out that you are not a hunter? Well, talking about that, I've really investigated it. I've spoken to all the men that, the cattle riders that I do business with across the Njaba River. And none of them seem to know you. And because they do not know me, I do not have information on them. It's obvious you don't know me. Oh, please. I beg of you. Everything, everything that I've done in my life, I did it to win the heart of the woman that means a lot to me. And since pretense and living a fake life has not won her over to you, why can't you change? You have great craft in your hands and in your eyes. The gods have blessed you with talent. Use the talent that the gods have given to you. Makego idimuma Makego mwani marama Bobu nambiaranso Kamuwa gika obimdi Iga ajumu Iga rapumu Iga eku oku Oku na bawa mwobi Odemma Njubagi odemma Fem Gaime Kaiburu Kebu Onye Gio Bimado Eji Dego Ifenile Oji Dego Ifenile Onye your ways and stand the chance. His wife visited me and from the way she standed, she feels we have abandoned Agoba to die. She also came to me. The truth is that we should not bother ourselves with the ranting of a woman. Agoba is our brother and our hero. The gods of Anyenugu knows that we have not abandoned Agoba to die. But at least we need to do something to convince the, the woman that we have done our best. Something like what? We have sent for one year and she has started treatment. We should at least give her two days to prove herself. Hmm. I agree with you completely. But there is need for us to spread our search to other lands. Other lands like where? Like uh, Umuakbali, Obudetiti, uh, Isioyenato, uh, Osili, and Abomim. And the rest. We must not only help Agoba to get well. We must be seen as doing all within our powers. It's your child. All these kingdoms you mentioned are inferior to an Enugu. We cannot afford to ridicule ourselves by going down to an inferior kingdom to seek for help. Yeah. Uh, it's your child. Hmm? I think at this point hmm. we should take this matter to the king. Yes. Because if Agoba dies and without us doing something to convince that woman that we have done our best for the husband, our hero. Mm. That woman may take us to Ajane. Let me ask us, can we stand before Ajane and swear that we did our best for Agoba, our hero? Mm. That's a question. Agoba Wokike. The hero of our land. What man of sickness has knocked you down like this? Your men and your house are not running around to save them with colonels. Agoba, rise. Rise to your normal self and let this sickness depart from you. I go by my hero. 
Iron Man. Whatever is it that can hold a tiger like you down? He's indeed strong. Help! I've asked around that this man of obediency, his name is Akrika. They said he can heal my husband of this illness. Elders of Allah, I'm pleading. You take my husband to this man so that he will be healed of his illness. Please, I'm begging. I don't know what to do again. I'm exhausted. You've heard him. And we are glad that you've been going around, asking around. It goes to show that you're a good wife to your husband. We'll make broader inquiries on your suggestion and we'll get back to you. I go back with KK. Hey, who? You are certain things you just cannot say. Richard Chaya, if you like to defend a stupid suggestion from a woman, it has nothing to do with me. I'm a warrior and I will never succumb to any suggestion from a woman, mainly a strange woman that Agoba married from Ogodane. Please stop this age-long campaign against the people of Ogodane. It's not taking us anywhere. This woman only suggests something we should look into. Now both of you listen to me. This is a trap. A trap sent by a married woman from another land to make us play down on our cultural relevance by playing into the hands of a reality. I disagree with you. I disagree with you. That woman has not set any trap. She's only concerned about her husband and made a suggestion. See, is that suggestion that will make a reality lose down on us? There is nothing that will make me go to a reality. Nothing. We have our own. Let us invite one Yolu to heal our hero and our brother. She can do it. She has healed worse sickness in the past. Please. When a man loves a woman, he can do whatever strange thing to make the woman happy. But when you put this one is going to the extreme, it's going to the extreme. But see, I never knew that my friend can sing so very well and we've been searching around to so we'll get someone who will lead us in something in our community. Oh yeah, this is not a joking matter. And it's not like she asked me for an extraordinary, like a big deal thing. She only asked me to forfeit all my fake life and concentrate on my God-given talent. I don't think she's asking too much, is she? But uh, you have my support. You know you have my support in whatever would make her yours. I would want you to be careful in whatever decision that would make jeopardize the means of your life you want to. Listen, what she asked me to do is to stop parading myself as a hunter and concentrate on my free giving talent from above, which is weaving. And you and I know that weaving I did not learn from anybody, it just came. And each time I weave, people appreciate me so much. I, I, I don't know what, what to use. I know how it started. But my problem here is how much you could make from weaving to sustain yourself. Well, the, the truth is, my woman knows me and understands me. And I'm sure we have support. I don't even see any reason why we should overlook today, which is a day of a little beginning. What about tomorrow? I'm aware they have briefed you on what they are planning. I don't want it to happen. 
I brought you here to plead with you not to allow them to rub the shame on our great Anienugu land. When a renowned healer admits that the situation is more than what she could handle, then truly the situation is very serious. Everyone knows what you can do, Wanyolu. Help save your brother. We don't have to ruin our age long cultural relevance by going to Obode Titi to seek for help. I understand what you mean, but this is all about human lives. And your duty is to save that man. Hey, go ahead and save him. Save him, Wanyolu. Help save Akuba. I do not wish to deceive neither you nor myself. Aguba's condition is more than I could handle. But if his wife says that man of obodetity can handle it, then involve them and save a warrior. This is beautiful. I made them. They're from my hands. You did? Yes. <laughs> It's really beautiful. If you take this to the market to sell, it will be sold in no time at all. I've made it for you. Just for you, my love. I won't refuse this because it is true. I'll let them meet you, but. Thank you. And thank you again for making me, helping me discover my talents. I believe you turned me down because of my fake life. And I, I took a decision to turn around and do the right thing. Not just for me, but for you, my love. Listen to me, Balanya. One should always make decisions because of themselves. Because only you will bear the brunt of the outcome. But still, I'm proud of you. You're welcome. Are you still going to turn me down? Makego, Idimuma. Makego, Mani Marama. Bobu Nam Biaranso. What is he doing here? Iga Jumu, Iga Rapu, Iga Epu, Okuna Bawa Mobi, Odima, Jubaki Odima, Bifem Kaime, Kaiburu Kebu. My biggest Iga problem is that nobody understands the insult. What insult, my princess? Oh, my mother, of course. She found a maiden for her son. A maiden she already named his wife. Then she dies. And is moving around the kingdom searching for another. That is very insulting. I feel so sick right now. My princess, to me, I see no insult here at all. The prince knows what he wants in a wife. And if he hasn't seen that in the one your mother found, I think he has the right to search for another. Oh, just shut up! Shut up, Obioma! It is people like you that has been encouraging him to disregard my mother. If you don't know what to say, just keep quiet and say nothing at all. Why are you not bothered about your son? Why are you not thinking of your own marriage? The prince is a man, and you are a woman. Time is always on his side. But I doubt if anyone can say the same about you. Princess Ojiugo, think! She was actually talking to you, my princess, but the truth is that she spoke to me. I know what to do. Yes, I know what to do. What is going on here? 
What is your friend up to? My princess, a young man of this land has been asking her to be his wife, but she refused giving him attention. I think the priestess just opened her eyes. So she's going there right now to say yes to the man? Maybe. My princess, a woman who has no husband has something vital missing in her life. I pray I get my own man's son. Seriously. You don't know how long I've stayed. I did not go hiding. That day on the road was my first time of seeing you. How come you've lived all your life in this kingdom and I have not got to meet you? It's not your fault, my prince. My face is not the type that one should remember, no matter how many times you come across it. <laughs> but immediately I walked in into this place, no one told me. You were the one I saw on the road. Doesn't that prove you wrong? I've actually come to thank you for saving my life from that unfortunate infant. How you come to know about that impending disaster is one question that has not left my mind. I was actually speaking with someone when the picture came to me. I knew I had to leave immediately to save someone's life. Until I got to you, I never knew it was the prince. I don't understand. It came to you like a divination, vision of what? I've come to observe that you're not the type that talks too much. Oh, please, speak to me. I've answered your question, great prince. You came to me in a picture. I was asked to move. I moved. I got to you, asked you not to leave, and you obeyed. And here you are alive today. Please thank the gods, not me. Does that make you see her then? Thank you very much for appreciating me. And I must thank the heart from where these came from. But I'm sorry. I cannot accept that. I do not want to believe you came all the way from your land to ask me if I can do this or that. I will not give you a specific answer when I have not seen the man in question. Ichi Akrika, that is why I requested that you come with us. His condition is so critical that he cannot be brought here. As we speak, he is paralyzed and incapacitated. Paralyzed and incapacitated? The combination is not good for the ears. There is always a way out. Why are we stayed here speaking like women? Are you going with us or not? We came because we were highly recommended. Let's please behave like men. Your colleague earlier said that all the mercy men in Anenubu fail to heal the man. Have you heard him? Have you been listening to him? I know he was going to rub it in. We have not come here to listen to you insult our mercy men. Yes, they failed to heal him. And so what? Must you continue repeating it? 
Please, don't let this mission be fruitless. Why are you picking a necessary quarrel with this messy man? He's our only hope. No, 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 no. In God's forbid. I refuse to be bossed into that corner that this man is our only hope. No. Our messy man failed to heal Aguda. Must he keep repeating it? Uh, please. I think I, he didn't mean it that way. Please. Just tell us what we are saying. Please. Let's move forward. Men of Anenugu, I will not follow you to Anenugu without inquiries. We need a seer to help us trace the course of the sickness. And once that is done, the Spirit will guide me to the healing. She is Wakego, great daughter of Obodetiti. She is gifted for the power to see beyond human eyes. She will help us trace the cause of the sickness. Once we know the cause, the spirit will guide me to the healing. How will she know the cause of the sickness when she has not seen the sick man? Well, I don't have a problem you're calling her. She's a seer you're working with. Could she follow us to an with then? Your own is becoming too much. Be quiet! So that the spirits of divinity will flow. Most of it shows stupidity in everything they do. What is this nonsense before us? We are not here for you to educate us on how you men of identity behave before your seers. We are here for you to heal our hero who is down and incapacitated. I choose to ignore that. Okay. For reasons best known to me, I will follow them to an end But please, before we leave, can you please help us to trace the cause of the sickness that got the man paralyzed and incapacitated? The great warrior of Anienugu, the Opoponi coin of Anienugu. Is he the one? She asked a question. Is he the one? Yes. He's the one. His sickness has given us sleepless nights because it has defied all treatment. We are here because his wife will take the case to our journey if her husband dies without her doing something. I see the cause of the unfortunate sickness is in his past. But that past is hidden from me. <laughs> you see yourself? Look at the seer you brought before us. She can see nothing. You cannot say that of me. I have seen the cause of his sickness. I cannot speak about a man whose spirit is no longer in this world. Agoba, the great warrior of Anienugu, is dead. And for that reason, I will not speak about the cause of his sickness since he is not alive. What, what do you mean that he is dead? We left his heart for this place and he was alive. That is exactly what I've been trying to avoid. Eh? His whole thing has turned into a child's play. The sun was in the middle of the sky when he passed. You may ask those who were there with him when it happened. An evil owl flew into his heart. You see, I'm losing it. I am losing it. I don't know the culture of your land, but where I came from, Anyanugu, owls don't fly in daytime. I can assure you that an owl flew in your land today. It flew in when the sun was in the middle of the sky. It took his soul away. He's dead. I will not speak about the cause of his death. Because in Igbo land, like you know, we do not speak evil of the dead. He died with an important truth. A 
truth that need not be hidden. Yet, he hid it. And even on his sick bed, the ancestors of Anienugu pushed him to reveal this truth. He refused until the hour came and took his life. He died with that truth. But someday, that truth will be revealed. In their lie his corpse. Ogugu has confirmed that he is dead. Why would Aguba die now that you have found someone who hit him? Hey! That means that maiden of a bit of it was right after all. Okonta, when did this happen? Can you remember? When I heard how his wife screamed, the sun was in the middle of the sky. And I ran in. I saw an owl flying off. I still can't understand why an owl will be flying during the day. I went inside immediately and met him lifeless. The sun was in the middle of the sky when he passed. You may ask those who were there with him when it happened. An evil owl flew into his heart. We need to sound Nikorodike. We need to bury our hero, Akoba. Then I'll have something to say. I know this all this while and I try to avoid it. Nobody listened to me. Finally, an evil maiden of Obodititi sent an evil owl to take the spirit and soul of our hero. Mbano, you cannot say that. Will you do me a favor and shut up? That maiden killed our hero. We must let the Obodititi people know that they are too basic to play with the revered people of Anyenugu. Don't you think you are reading unnecessary meaning into it? Icho Chiara, you know me too well. I will defend Anenu with the last drop of my blood. We committed massive blunder when we elected to involve other healers from other land. That evil maiden killed Agoba, and I want us all to open our eyes. Sincerely, I'm trying very hard to convince myself that that innocent maiden, that seer in Obude Titi, is responsible for Agoba's death. Johanna. Have you forgotten the enmity between Obodetiti and Anyenugu? Do you not think that they will stop at nothing trying to outdo us? King our hero, Aguba of Anyenugu, will be a great achievement for them. We play the fool by going to them. Destruct when it matters. Destruct us very deep. Hmm. I think I now know where we are coming from. Did any of you see how she looked at us as people who are coming from the land of the dead? If this is true, then what are we doing here sitting talking? Oh, but they Titi cannot put their fingers like that in our eyes. Agoba is dead. What is death must be revenged. And the king of Obode Titi must be forced to act. If he fails to act, his kingdom will go up in flames. I remember vividly the day the men of Akutu wanted to rape my sister. Stood your ground and rescued her. Oh. My friend, I don't get it. You see, you traveled all the way from Anenu just to come here. And remind me of something I must have probably forgotten. It's strange. I didn't forget. I have not forgotten. 
that day you touched me where it mattered most. And I promised myself that I will pay you back someday. So tell me, how do you intend to pay me back? How are you? Yes. You once told me that the maiden you want to marry is a seer. Something happened in my land. And I think that maiden is at the center of it all. I don't understand. You're getting me more confused. I saw it coming and I warned my fellow elders but they refused to listen. Finally, a maiden has used an evil owl to terminate the life of a great man of Anyenugu. That maiden must take her own life or Obodetiti will go up in flames. I brought you out here to promise you that even if all the men of Anyenugu ignore what happened, I will never ignore it. We will call them down on the game market day. We will call them down on a for day. We will call them down on Upo Day. We will call them down on Oriya Market Day. tell you, you need to make the confirmation that the said seer you want to marry is the one they are planning to eliminate. If she is the one, you must do something. You don't know my people. My people of Anyamidu are one among us. And now that they have an evil entity, they manage Yoko as the head of the warriors. It's worse. They plan to attack. As I'm speaking to you right now, they are making the plans. So make the confirmation. If she is the one, What is the meaning of that? I am a maiden of this land. When was my movement? When did I have my movement restricted? I tell you, I had a visitor today who came all the way from Anyemigu to visit me. And I did not like the news he came with. What is my business with who visits you? I'm asking you what you are doing here. Please, what did you say to the man who came from Anyemigu today to see Akrepa? Ah, 
I see that they are shocked that an ordinary maiden like myself can be that accurate with the message. And they are surprised at the truthfulness of it. Well, the truth is that this has gone beyond shock. They believe that your message was too accurate to the ordinary. And they also think that you're a witch. And you have used your witchcraft to manipulate an arrow that killed their kinsmen. And they are planning evil against you. You should not be surprised if I say that I do know what they have in their dirty hearts. Also, I thank your friend for coming all the way to meet you. It's my favor. Do not joke with this message. It's serious. The man from an enemy can be very dangerous while here. I've given you my message. I'll see you on my way now. to understand why you are talking to me the way you are. Akaka, why I'm talking to you the way I've been talking is this. You have been using her. And you know it. You have been using her to your own advantage. And you must stop. Now, you must stop. Young man, let me tell you. I saved her from banishment when I went to the king and proclaimed her a blessed child of this land with the gift of the gods. She knows it. And she's paying me back. Yes. She's paying me back. She's paying you back. Let me clap for you. But let me ask you, Akaka. When she was not here, were you not here? Why did you have to get her involved? Why? Because you do not know. Because you are a little boy. I heal people with a lot of difficulties. It is by trial and error. We follow the pattern of trial and error. But the involvement of Maki has made things much more easier for me. She came here this morning with a pot of water. And this she has been doing every day. And she greeted me like a father. Why are you ranting here? Why? Why I'm ranting at Kreta is because the men of Anini who came here to seek for healing for their brother. They believe that she used her knowledge of witchcraft to send the out that killed her brother. That's what I'm writing. Well, I am very serious, Akaka. You better fix this. You better get this fixed. Or you have me fix you. I won't say this again. Fix it. I'll fix it. Why are you looking at me like that? Does this have anything to do with the men of Anini? Did you do it? Did you mistakenly wish the man dead and it happened? You know people like you that has the gift of the third eye can do a lot with their mind. From all you already know of me, do you believe I killed the man? But I know you are gifted. But I do not know the limit of your gift. Makin, I am confused. I am confused. Listen, I remembered you said they are coming to take away his soul. And it happened that same way. And the people now believe that you know things about it. Tell me all you know about the man. Tell me. You know I am the only person that will save you and protect you. You asked me to come and help you. And that is exactly what I did. So you did not do it. I hate to talk so much. Can I go now? 
They are going to make you hang yourself. I know. You have not seen that. Did you? Do not hesitate to call me if you ever need my help when you're killing anyone. As for the men of Anyonugu, I am not bothered about them, for I stand with the gods. The emissary is from our king. You go Kalama do Kalamo. You see, Nechendo of Umu, Arakai Hobu of Idumuri Kingdom. You can praise your king the more. He deserves it. Because he is a great king. But to what do I owe the honor of your pursuit? The frog does not run in vain in the afternoon. Set your mission, you have my attention. Some days ago, a great calamity befell the people of Anionugu. A great hero of our land, the person of Agoba, Kokwo Aniko Nyi of Anionugu, passed away. Losing him was sad, but not as disheartening as the calamity behind his death. But uh, what has the death of your kinsman got to do with me and my kingdom? Is that what we are here to let you know right now? Someone has used a vast knowledge of witchcraft to send an evil owl to take an important soul of our land. We are here in peace, but that peace can evaporate if someone fails to do what we expect. I am beginning to smell something on blizzard. Please, permit me to send messages around the land so that I can involve one or two persons. Uh, you, you presented a matter against our daughter, but please, I'm begging you to give us time. You have all the time, but mark my words. If you fail to provide the evil men to hang ourselves before us, then our men will come to get enough earth of identity, men, with which we'll bury our hero. We give you seven market days. That is the message from our king and our people. The choice is yours. I've seen those faces before. Who are they and what do they want? People of Anienugu and their troubles. Are they from Anienugu? Yes, sent by their king. But I don't think I have any issue to settle with them. What issues? Please, tell me what the problem is. What is the problem? Mark Ego, late Uno Melando's daughter. Yes, yes. Predicted that their brother would die. Later, that's the same person died. Uh -huh. They don't believe that she's a witch. Oh, oh, Dad, this is the most incredible story I've ever heard for my life. That someone predicted that this person would die at the end of the day, he died. What has witchcraft got to do with that? According to them, they say that anybody that commits such an offense must hang him or herself as a punishment. What? Hang him or herself? This is a dangerous time in our history. We ask them to give us time. But seriously, there is trouble. Why are you behaving as if nothing is happening around here? What do you want me to do? Maybe you should at least cry. That will relieve some tension around here. <laughs> you are even laughing. Do you even understand anything? Why is everything bad happening to this family? First, I lost my mother and three brothers. And then your mother and only brother died. I think that was not enough. Your father also died. And what is about to happen now? My only cousin is about to hang herself. Why is everything bad happening? Why? Hey, Barry, there's no need for what you're doing right now. 
those who are dead are resting in peace. What about you? Do you know what it means for someone to hang herself? What were you thinking working with a character like Akrika? I do not blame Ichi Akrika for anything. He needed help and he got it. He never willed for any of this to happen. I have told you that I have washed my hands of anything that has to do with one thing. Yes, yeah, I understand that. But that was when I came to plead so that you let me uh, plead my case so that she can accept me. And what is the difference? What has happened? You need your doctor. You have no head. Head what? It's all over the town. Even the beds are singing with the news. It is none of my business. After all, Akreka is the queen. No, Ishia, I refuse to accept that with you. Eh? After all, you know very well that Akrika just took advantage of her. Moreover, she's only but a child. She's a child. Because of that, we're not going to let her just die like that. Who will need to fight for her? In case your father did not tell you anything before he died. And Enugu has been our rivals from time in memory. They are mongers. They are ready to kill, even at the slightest provision. Ishia, I know that is true. But are we going to allow them to kill our innocent, innocent maiden that, that the gods give to us freely? No! We shall rise and fight for her! That's what I'm saying. And what are you trying to insinuate? To go to war? Against an Enugu people? What, what weapon? No, to, to, to war against them? What weapon are you going to use? Ishe, this is not the war of weapons. It is not. It's a war of doing the right thing and protecting it. It's a war of fighting for justice and fairness. That's what I'm saying. I shall not meddle in the affairs of two kingdoms. That is the duty of his individualism. As for Wakego, I think she has everything. I'm here to tell you you shouldn't worry at all. I will do all I can to keep you safe. And I wonder what the prince can do over a matter that is beyond the king himself. Okay, good. Even if it's the last thing I do before I die, I will try and see that no harm befalls you. I wonder again why you'd want to help a poor orphan like me. Maybe the gods want to say something to you. Why not listen to them and tell me what they're saying? Your life is filled with so much emptiness, Prince of Calicia. Why don't you leave my problems alone and try to face yours? You just say that to me. What do you mean by that? I mean no disrespect, my prince. I can't help but talk about the emptiness in your life. Why are they looking for something that they already have? I don't understand that. Something like what? I am not afraid of the men of Anienugu. For I stand with the gods. Thank you for offering to fight for me. But there will be no need for that. You told me that your brief encounter with the priestess it changed your psyche completely. But you go, I am disappointed if I see no change. Why do you hate this medicine so much? I don't hate her, you know. If you're sure you don't hate her, why not be part of solutions to her problem? What solutions? Everything points to the fact that the speculations about her could be true. Oh, have you not heard about the circumstances surrounding her father's death? Oh, Ojibo, I'm surprised you're talking this way. Are we still talking about the same maiden who saved my life from that infant that took the lives of others? Oh, please! Stop reading wide meanings into my presentation. This one is different and you know it. Oh, how? No, tell me. If you can give me a reasonable answer, I will stop talking about it. 
to me. You see? You don't have anything to say. Thank you for your support. He died with an important truth. A truth that need not be hidden. Yet, he hid it. And even on his sick bed, the ancestors of Anienugu pushed him to reveal this truth. He refused until the hour came and took his life. He died with that truth. But someday, that truth will be revealed. I don't know what else I must do. He refuses to accept the cola. Why, you no listen to me. You have to go back and repeat it all. You have to keep repeating it until it works. And why must I do that? I've done all I can do, but he keeps throwing the pieces of cola back at me. The Nadian of Obodetiti wants to insult our land because she's a seer. She wants to make public a cardinal secret in this community. Ah! Uh, Something that will make other kingdoms to look down on us. I brought you here because you are the only one in Anyenugu presently that can seal her mouth by casting the Kola North into the port of Obulofulwe. And I accepted to do that because of the position you occupy in this land. I have done what I should do, but the forces refuses to seal her mouth. Maybe we should allow her to say what she sees. You never can tell when it will become blessings to us. Why did I allow the truth to Ugodeti to how else to first stop this issue? Please, talk to him. If my father must do anything about the situation, then he should be allowed to operate freely and be able to think right. I beg you. I don't understand why you're making a case for that crafty man. A man who exposed you to danger. For the first time, I'm going to ask you to please educate me on the great sin that he has committed that makes it compulsory for him to be punished the hard way. What he did was that he exposed you to danger. He took advantage of your being nice and your being vulnerable. He exposed you to the men of Anielugu and he knows that this man can stop at nothing. Mm. What? Spare me all of this. It's obvious that you are very wrong. Really? Tell me we have come back. You seem not to understand the men from Anienu. They will do nothing, absolutely nothing to stop at their evil plans. Men of Anienu and your unfounded request is the least of my problem. All I am concerned about here is justice. I mean you have unjustly banished a man from enjoying the peace in this compound. All because of the senseless fear of the intimidation of men of Anienu. You cannot intimidate me with your sentiments. Because I know you have a good heart. It has beclouded your decision. But Akrika must take care of this problem that he has caused. Even if it takes me to kill him, I'll kill him to correct you. You will kill no one. You don't seem to understand what is before you. This man will have you hang yourself. And if you know what is good for you, you better stop moving around and sit in one place. Oh. I can take care of myself. You may not know much about me because you may not have the training chairs in what comes next. Why do you have to say that? You are our prince. Prince Okalisia of Obodigiti. They are parental. The one that would marry Masinachi. The beautiful maiden that is in the room. Your mother found for you. I'm surprised you know this much about her. But I want to tell you, 
I am not going to marry a massage. Your choice, not mine. Uh, you said you came on account of one. I, I, I want to, I want to find out the interest. Oh yes. I am here because of work. You are a man. And I can conveniently tell you that I'm a man too. You are a masculine. You can give it to me that I'm a masculine. I want us to handle this. I am not asking you to leave her. What, what, what has that to do? Who do you wish to stand with? Akrika is nowhere to be found and Okongo is not even ready to talk to you about this. I don't need any of them. If it will take me to, to work alone and make this work, I will. But the only thing you should bear in mind is that I'm not going to let my woman die like that. I will not. I wish you was what you think she is. Your woman, I should always say. Yes. You know, sometimes I would always be tempted to go to this one ego to sort her out. To ask her what she is, that she'll be doing this to my friend. She's the one I love. She's the one I want to wait. She's the one I'll do everything, even wait a very long time to prove to her that I love her. And you, my friend. Choice is yours. It's either you stay with me and follow me on this journey and make this work. Or you can go because I'm ready to achieve this course alone. Mm. I just realized that I, I will not forgive myself if nothing is done at all. Thank you. Thank you very much. You have to also thank the prince here for, for, for his efforts. Cause it okute. In the next three days, three heads shall fall in Okute. We shall send a signal for them to understand that we are the same yesterday, today, and forever. If you will listen to me, I will plead for caution. I was with the king yesterday. The king has started with a wider inquiry, and we must allow the king to finish what he has started. Unfortunately for you and the king, I am the one that leads the warriors. You can continue your political meetings with the king. 
our warriors shall proceed to salvage the age long pride of an Enugu people. No body takes us for granted. As you cannot go to war with a better entity, when the instruments of diplomacy are yet to be achieved, exhausted, we have a king in this land. The most important thing is the ECR of the two kingdom. You must give his approval before any head boss. What are they talking? You know you could have spoken to him in a more respectful manner. And that's because? Because he is your prince. From the first day he came in, I knew what he wanted. Well, let me ask you. Are you going to accept him? Who is supposed to be talking about marriage at this crack? He me. wasn't here to discuss about marriage. And even if he was, am I not a single free girl allowed to choose a man of her choice? Okay, we have a serious problem here. I'll need you to listen to my plans first. What is it? Ichi, we are ready with the plans. It is no longer three heads. Before the cock will crow and dawn tomorrow, we will have seven heads from Obodwit. Okute, I trust you absolutely. I know what you can do. I know you will not disappoint me. That's why I called you. Ichi, are you saying seven is not a good? Because for the final passage right of our great warrior Aguba, I will bring home 10, 12 if you want. I actually called you because I wanted to order a stay of execution. A stay of execution? Ichi, in Anienugu, we don't go back once decisions have been made. I know, but I don't want it to look as if I am disobeying the king. They just confirmed to me that the king is making brother inquiries on the matter. I just want to give them benefit of doubt. Hmm? Once I decide on what to do, I'll send for you. Hmm? I can't believe you just said that. Why would you say that? That I should run away with you? See, I've made plans for us. Let's leave this place. Okay? Let's leave a night before that day. Let's go somewhere far away from Obodei Titi and Anienugu. Let's go somewhere, somewhere like Agolo. Okay, Titi. What makes you think I want to run away with you? Or you think you stand a better chance with me now that I'm at your mercy? No. I'm doing this because I want you alive. You're more important to me alive than... Enough. Let me say this once so you don't ever make the error of repeating this again. I, Mwakibu, will never run away from my father's life. What if it means taking your life? Well, if that's the way the gods want me to die, and so be it. I would not be angry if you mistake me for a mad woman right now. Because that's exactly who I am now. I will not be surprised if this has to do with Wapi. I know you love her. And I know that she saved your life. There's something about this. Tell me about it. Listen. I do not know what you are planning with my father. Because I don't see any of you making moves. Now someone else wants to do it, but she won't listen. I will do anything to her. Anything. She doesn't listen to me because she believes I am not as smart as she is. But I still love her. Now Bawaye is willing to take her out of this place, but she still won't listen. Maybe if you talk to her as a prince, you will be able to convince her. Who is this Bawanye to her? Bawanye is... My prince, it's a little bit complicated. 
What is important is that he is someone who is willing to save our life. My friends, I am pleading with you so you could talk to her into accepting this offer. Please. Please, you really need to talk to her, I beg you, please. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Your king could have said only you to us. It's an insult to our kingdom. I never said he did. Really? Who sent you then? Oh, I came on my own. The matter does not concern our kings. That is why I never asked to meet you in the palace. It was to me that the issue of your sick kissman was brought. It was to me. It was you who brought in the evil maiden that took his life with an evil owl. Oh, exactly. that maiden is not evil. And that is why I am here. We find it hard to believe because the story of how she manipulated her own father to death is everywhere. That maiden is not evil. I must never be punished for what she did not do. Are you challenging us? Man of ability challenging us in our own land? Iche, Ikbe Malezioku, leave the challenge for the gods. <laughs> I knew you were dragging the gods. Why are we listening to this man? Eh? Why are we allowing the man of obedience to treat us as if we are the minors? Don't you know the history? Obedience is minor to us in everything. Be calm. Be calm. So that we won't avoid making mistakes. We must involve the gods. Because it is their gift on that maiden that the whole of you are mocking. Yes. And what are you driving at? I do not want to dwell on the issue of who is your minor. But I want to sound it here and now that Obodetiti is not your slave. And you must never treat one of the very own as one. Let me tell you, everyone deserves justice. And that is what Mwagego should be given. And if we fail to comply? Oh, I hope you people will be wise enough to comply. Because I started with the gods. And I am also ending with the gods. And the whole of us are nothing without the gods. I had a meeting with them. I give them my conditions. Like we agreed. And you think they are going to comply to that? Hmm. Unless they want to dare the gods. Who does that? Ooh. Hmm. Akrika, from what I know about Anyenugu people, they are ready to stand anything. Anything. <laughs> Uh, Okungu, that will not include bearing the gods. They know the consequences. I hope they will honor the invitation. Mm. Mm. My people, I am very happy for the new development. Most especially, we have all gathered here in one accord. That is not to say that uh, this one is a, is a more fortunate one. But we should allow the gods to do their will. Africa. Onyeze, let the process begin. Ibe.
Justice and truth is what we all seek. The oath of Abalanyahu of Obode Titi has been an age old practice which has proven over and over again its effectiveness. That is because it is connected to the sun. This maiden of Obode Titi shall before all of us take this same oath to prove her innocence. If you killed the man, do not swear. For if you do, you shall die under the sun and you shall not be buried. Are we all in agreement? Are we all in agreement? Yes. yes. Are you ready and willing this day to take the oath? I'm willing to do anything to prove that I have nothing to do with whatever killed the man. We have something to say, Your Highness. that this process should proceed. Why interrupt me? Yes, we agree that this process should proceed. But you all know that an Enugu is full of wise men and we are always one step ahead. Uh, I do not see the wisdom in stopping the uh, process of taking to prove her innocence. I do not see the wisdom. We don't want her to take the oath because we don't believe in the efficacy of the oath of Abaranyawo of Obodeti. She claimed to be a seer. She claimed to have seen her brother's death. But there's something she must do for us to prove that she's a seer. We all know what this is. For her to prove for us that she's a seer, we want her to tell us how many seats are inside this pumpkin. They are determined to see her dead. Who in this world will know the number of seeds in that thing? Um, um, your parent. Even though I don't like Wakigo for anything, but for once I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. How did I expect her to tell us the number of seeds? Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Father, this is not our agreement with them. It's not. Uh, uh, people of Anienuku. We should understand that we have gathered here in one accord. This is the only condition, or we go back to our old request. Do not start an evil process with my Isiugu, was what the innocent lady pleaded with you. This happened today in your land. She asked you to promise her that you will not use her fruit to start an evil process. As the leader of the group, can you deny what I just said? Muria, please help us with your popkin. Please help us so that we can save our motherland. We need it to save our people. Please. No. No, 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 no. This is the only stock that I have. I want to sell it. Please now. Eh? If okay, let me ask you a question. If all our people and our kingdom perish and you have this issue, go, this is your popkin, will you be happy? Bikonu. Please. Please, Muri. If we are sure we are going to use it to save our land, then I give it to you. But please, 
do not do an evil thing with it. No, 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 no. I promise, I promise, I promise. I promise. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
The seer has one more message for you. The voice of silence. Silence has a voice. Listen, you proud of a good entity. You know what is good for you. Leave us alone. Let us figure out what next to do. What you must do next is to confess the atrocity you are hiding. Are you talking to me? Remember what Wanyolu told you? Your the truth is like smoke. It cannot be hidden. You're taking your luck too far. I speak because I am afraid of nothing but the gods that sent me. Your so-called hero whom you claim to be defending died with the truth. That truth shall spring up and set the record straight in land. Can you tell us this truth that the Agoba was hiding? George Aya, are you joining this evil maiden of ability to make a mockery of Agoba? Continue in your quest to suppress the truth. But note, you are next. Oh, stop there before I kill you with my bare hands. What do you mean when you say I'm next? Why hide under the guise of guarding cultural relevance to conceal multitude of sin? Watch your language, you brat. Who is hiding a multitude of sin? You are hiding a multitude of sins, Aguba. Confess now. You must not confess in an elaborate manner. You can do so now before these men. Say it with your mouth, else <laughs> I will not say anything. It's it. What is the matter? What is going on? I stand with the gods, and men cannot destroy me. The truth will always reveal itself. You can still save yourself by revealing it to these men now. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. Voice of silence. Voice of silence. I have never been disgraced in any way like this. That made you was more than a seer. In fact, the people of the people never stop talking about this generation. Have you seen the fruit of your agitation? We insisted that that made must be killed. It was you who was first to remind us of the age-old tradition of a killer hanging himself or herself. And we quickly took the matter to the king. And we went up and said, you insisted on that stupid punky seat counting. All I wanted was justice for our brother Agoba. Has that become a crime on my part now? Oh, let me remind you. She said something about it too. Are you ready to speak to us now? Or you must wait when we get to an end. I wouldn't want anyone to insult me on the account of what that would say. You, 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 you need not confess. You can do so now. Confess with your mouth or else. Even your king knows I'm a man of power. You can't really do me. Confess with your mouth or else. You lie. I'm not to confess. You lie. You lie. You lie. To say yes to him and become his wife. I bear it. Why are you acting like you are the one that is going to live with the prince if I end up marrying him? But that is the truth. Or are you planning to completely shut me out as soon as you become his wife? Well, I'm just going to beg the gods to help me ensure that you are in your husband's house, <laughs> pregnant and extremely busy at that time. See where you're even going to. But it's true. But no one will ever talk to me like all the men I like would not even as little as I have a conversation with you. What would I do? Say something. Oh. What's it going?
That is the lady in the store that brings for. If I were, I would give you a resounding slap. That is the last thing I expect you to be doing right now. Smiling. Greetings. Greetings, beautiful me. Why would you qualify her with that? Is she more beautiful than any of us? If she was that beautiful, the prince wouldn't have this child. He is very happy about you. That makes me glad. Because all I wish for is his happiness. Please, take care of him. You are truly amazing. <laughs> Please. Stop, don't flatter me. Your mom is in that mood. <laughs> Let's not go into all of that now. Let me ask you, are you just going to give up on the one you truly love so easily? I do not possess that, which he must have in a wife. Medians of obedientity are not known for throwing themselves at men. Some may do that. Some are even doing it as we speak. But I, Masinachi, will never do that. Am I? Is she talking to me? Tell her what I would do to her pretty face if she dares talk to me like that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am glad that even Iberia here has agreed that you do have a pretty face indeed. <laughs> Outside having a pretty face, you have great gifts from the gods. Your future husband will be proud of. I wish you well. Thank you. And what are you still doing this? Go home. For your man is taking. The prince is taking. Such a lively good media. One would think that you are as hard as your words. But you are softer than the skin on <laughs> my face. Try not to throw yourself at men. That will increase your work and get you where you wish to be. Excuse me. Accept your loss and move on. Can't you keep quiet for once? I wish I could, but we need to tell him the truth. This is a prince he has as a rival. This is a prince he has as a rival. Have you ever thought about it? Do you know your problem? Do you know it? You talk too much. Oh, is that why you hate me? <laughs> well, I don't care. I have given up on you a long time ago, so you can hate me for all you want. I found out that I, I can't because you're the only woman since I was born that I behold and want to be mine. I, I know the prince stands a better than love. Exactly. That is the edge he has over you. He's very intelligent. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth and let my friend make this proposal to a woman that means everything to him. Shut your mouth. That he has all the power and money, and he can get everything he wants. But please, do not forget my undying love for you. Please, why me? Please, stand up. Ask him. 
you cannot rival with someone like Prince Ever, please. I did everything that I did. I'm told in you leave because of you. I left my hunting business. Kiss me good morning. Please, what else would you have me do? You have done everything. Mark Yugi would never marry a man who lives a fake life. A man who lives in pretense. I don't care if you are making so much money before. But the end point is that now you're living a true life to people and to yourself. And that's the picture I want in my ideal man. I don't know why you are saying this. He stands no chance. The prince is... Ebe, please, again. I love you. But your pretense and fake life kept me away from you. I'm so glad that you listened to me and that you're doing the right thing now. Are you seeing you? Yes, I'm here. True love. You are my destiny. <laughs> Wakego, are you out of your mind? You mean you want to throw the prince away for a mad weaver? <laughs> Please, I say again. <laughs> Lots of things will happen. Things you never thought you could do. I have found mine. I'm touched. Now I feel like crying. True love makes you do lots of things. I have found mine. He's here with me. I know what it means to find true love. I understand. Makego, wanyi marama, mbobu nambiaranso, kamu wagi karobimbi, igajumu. I pray for the day I will find my own true love. You know what you've done to me. I have done the right thing, my prince. I have done that which destiny had planned even before we came into existence. Destiny. Destiny plans for you to shatter my heart and my dreams. You are not my destiny. But when you is, one day you will be with yours. It sounds very easy to you because you don't know how long I've waited for someone like you. How am I supposed to find another you again? 
you should concern yourself with the most important things in marriage. When you do that, the things that are not important will follow. Just know you. You've broken my heart. I'm sorry you feel that way, my prince. I hope that someday you will thank me for letting you go. That day when you're in the arms of the one that you love, and the one that loves you like you deserve. I come before you. Was a single of our extended Umokobia family. With Mwakego and Bawaii, they have already been joined together in an elaborate celebration. As the head of the family, I present her to you as I pray that you lead all the ancestors and in the other of our family to follow her to her husband's house and prosper. It shall be well with them. The marriage shall be fruitful and sweet. They shall bear good children, healthy ones. It shall be well with them. You see. News is everywhere that she has been joined to the one she chose ahead of you. I'm short of words. I thought everything was under control. She gave me no direct answer. I was hoping she would never turn me down. That's exactly what she did, my brother. She turned down an opportunity to be the queen of this land. Just to marry a nobody that whips mats. That's the reason I love her the more. She has grown to be a great woman of virtue that knows what she wants. That's why I want her. If I say you amaze me, it amounts to an understatement. Why are you singing glorious praises on a maiden that turned you down? A maiden that placed no value on you. Listen, my dear Ojuko. Do not hold it against her. But when he was there before me, and she kept on turning him down, he kept faith alive. I was supposed to be a distraction. She refused to be distracted. Can't you see? Can't you see we should respect and value her the more? In fact, love her the more. So, who are you going to marry now? That I don't know yet. I need to recover from this disappointment first. But mark my words, I shall find that woman. I shall find that woman who shared the same gift of her mother. And when I do, she will pull me out of this dilemma. Yeah. 
Your mother will not be very happy with you in the land of the spirits. Father, I I wish to make her happy, but it's difficult. It cost me my own joy. What do you want to do? Just sit around, wait for luck to throw you another maiden that possesses the said quality? Listen, sit down, sit down, my son. Sit down. Listen, my son. Your mother made a very good choice of a maiden, a wife for you. And I approved her because I know she's good. But if you insist that you do not want her, then make a haste and find one that you will want. So that I will bless her as soon as possible. You never can tell what the girls are planning. Before me, you can't. It's an abomination. Uh, please don't stop me. I must make this confession. I know I've hurt your feelings. My friends, please, I beg of you. Please stand up. You can't kneel before me. You can't. You are the coming king. Please, you can't kneel before me. I beg of you. Please. You wanted in a woman and you went for it. I feel like a fool right now. For making such qualities my part. You are not a fool. You knew what you wanted. And you are not a fool for going for it. I would do the same. Every good. You you have all the qualities of a potential good wife. Masinaji. Please. Marry me. Prince, you know I would love to marry you. I have dreamt of how I would pride myself as your wife. But unfortunately, I can't make you happy. I don't want you to be unhappy for the rest of your life. No, 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 no. Listen, it doesn't matter if you're a seer or not. I want you to marry me and I will be happy with you. Believe me, my love, I will try and be happy with you forever. You see, you see what your problem is? I love you too much, my friend. I love you too much that I don't want you to try. Okay, listen, listen. I will not try. I will love you and be happy with you for the rest of my life. Please. Just say yes. Say yes. And both of us will be the happiest people on earth. Please. 
kind of cute. Do you know how sad I am back then? Isn't anyone coming around for me yet? I am not that lucky. Have you heard? Rather, have you seen that the prince has come back to that pretty face? She is his destiny. Oh, there she goes again. Talking about destiny. Sometimes I wonder where my own destiny is hiding. The first thing I would do is to give him a sound slap on his face for keeping me waiting. That is the day he finally comes back. May the gods bless you with love, joy, and togetherness. Amen. May your house be filled with children, male and female. Above all, may the gods grant you the wisdom to rule this land till the time comes. Bring your hands. Tiny hand. Yes. Um. The authority conferred on me as Eze Miri Ewilo of Ogurit. I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Start off. Start off. Thank you very much for waiting. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you too. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's okay. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> you see, you're the best thing that has ever happened to me. And you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. My brother. It's your hand Now I feel like the only unmarried maid in Nobodo Ititi. Oh, come on, Ebere. Your time will come. Relax. Oh, at last. At last, my sister. At <laughs> last, <laughs> my sister. We won. We won. We won. Yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> Can you tell me why she's looking at me like that? Or could it be she remembered everything I told her that day on the road? Or perhaps you shouldn't have told her those things you told her that day on the road? I know you could order for me to be tied to a stake now. Please have mercy. All he wants is for you to be a good maiden. That can make him feel like a man that he is. He has loved you from the very first day he set his eyes on you. What is she talking about? Patience, my sister. The time is now. He's almost here to make you what you have always wanted, his wife. for a chance to approach you and not the other way around. You mean you liked me all this while and you never said anything? Baby, I do not just like you. I love you. You're my heart true. You're my destiny. <laughs> Thank you. 
You don't want to marry me anymore. Of course I'll marry you. It's just that I promised whoever will be my destiny is slap on the day I set my eyes on him. <laughs> I don't know how long I have waited for to stay. had this desired gift of my mother. Why didn't you show me? I never knew I had the gift. I just looked at her and I had the urge to tell her. Mm, that is what Sia said. Um, but, but you didn't turn. You didn't turn to see him coming. So uh, how did you know he was he was approaching me. <laughs> uh -huh. Father. You did not think uh, that your mother made a mistake in choosing her place. Oh, Father. You know your mother knew exactly that you loved her quality of life. That's why she stopped at nothing to be getting it. <laughs> <laughs> So, you're a seer? I guess so. This is unbelievable. So, Father, you knew about it all this while. Why were you reluctant about it? I knew that destiny and fate must take its full course. You do not fight for it. It comes natural. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My new one. My <laughs> Bigwe, <laughs> my new wife. <laughs> <laughs> Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. Voice of silence, silence has a voice, voice of silence, voice of silence.